I'm gonna be frank with you, I don't know what it's like to be hungry. Kids that go to school hungry, they cannot function well. You know, it's hard to try to listen at a teacher or learn something when your stomach is growling. We all have a calling. Al, Al heard his. We've been going out feeding the hungry for the last 12, 13 years, and it just become a desire in my heart to put together No Nonsense Ministry to do the same thing. When I heard that he, what he was doing, it almost brought tears to my eyes. No child should go hungry. No child should have to worry about where the next meal is coming from. I've been hungry before. I know what it's like to wake up and not know where your next meal is coming from. When I experienced hunger, it was just miserable. Um, I was embarrassed to let people know that I was hungry. It's hard to tell a person you know how they feel to be hungry when you ain't never been hungry. See, I done been there and done that, so I know, I, I can imagine and I know exactly what most of those people out there are going for. Eating out the garbage cans, eating out the dumpsters, begging for food. Everybody that's hungry is not homeless. One family, a lady, she had like three or four kids and she was willing to, to let us know that she just can't make ends meet. It's a question of should I buy gas? Or should I buy some food? Or should I buy my medicine? Or should I buy food? Or should I keep the lights on? Some people feel, now this is just my personal opinion, that they saying, well, those people could do better if they want them. Not necessarily the case. Maybe some of them out there could, but who is us to try to judge who can do better and who can't do better? Quite a few kids that come up and uh, eat with us also. Sometimes the parents bring them and then sometimes they come by themselves. And one time I, I remember I asked a, a kid out like, where's your mom? And he was like, oh, haven't seen her since Thursday. And we feed on Saturday. Thank goodness for Alan, that he came in and stepped up to feed people to care about people and, you know, just be there for them. Keep the line moving, please. Yes, Alvin is an inspiration to me. Hey, we have some bags if y'all just need something to tote your food in now. Um, because he motivates me to do what he does. Hey, don't forget now. In about 30 minutes, we got that spaghetti rolling out. All right. It's compassion for people. The love that he has for people. Look at him come. Look at the little cheering come. Come on, y'all. Just being Alvin, just being who he is and loving people. I can give you one. Of, no, 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 no. I'm looking, I'm telling him about it. I gave it to you, all right? All right. When we're feeding the children, I see happiness because they're excited about getting in line. They are excited to receive the meal, a hot meal and a cold drink. There's no reason that people should be hungry. We could do better if we could just get out and get in touch with the community or more than we are doing. When I hear the word hero, it's someone that goes out saving lives, as in, say, a paramedic, or a police, <laughs> or a fireman. You can see the glow in the people's eyes and the, you know, what they can see that he's concerned about them. I'm glad to be standing beside the CEO and the visionary leader of the No Nonsense Ministry. I see us someday being in a building where we can just truly feed large numbers of people. Our biggest thing is how can we do more? How can we reach more kids? A fully equipped kitchen. Just, we're just gonna go big. You know, I have a vision of No Nonsense being as big as McDonald's on every corner. He's making a difference, I know. I don't consider myself a hero. I just consider myself doing a humane thing as just doing what I do, going out helping people.